Good morning and afternoon, everybody. Um, welcome to the webinar on how to get started with doing a, your own poster printing in-house. Uh, my name is Jacob Harden. I'm a uh, product manager here at Epson America for the SureColor T-Series line of printers. And this line of printers actually does a lot. It does a lot of technical and CAD drawings all the way up to some of the posters and some of the graphics that you see on the wall right here. So that's why I am here because these printers are um, what we have in the Epson offering in terms of what makes a great fit for having a machine to print posters uh, in-house for uh, uh, corporates and for offices and facilities. And uh, today, mostly what we'll be talking about is for education. So um, we're actually here in our uh, Carson, California Technology Center, where we have all of our printers here for testing and demonstration. So it's a very nice facility. And we've been doing a lot of different webinar events. We've been doing a lot of presentations. Uh, throughout the past couple of years when things have been very virtual um, for obvious reasons. So uh, today is no exception and we're really happy to have you here uh, so we can demonstrate some tips on um, how to do this. So um, I guess there's a, you know, a question on why you'd want to do this. And you know, it really comes down to um, what are you printing in your facility? Um, you know, what are you doing in terms of posters and signage and things like that? So, um, you know, the folks that we've talked to in, in, in the education space, and that's both in, you know, uh, K-12 and in universities and other educational facilities, um, they really, uh, you know, say that there's a lot of different ways that they print posters. Some will, you know, go out to the stores and get them one by one. Um, some will print in-house, maybe on some small format stuff, um, or maybe you have a, a supplier that will provide posters or graphics for inside the facilities or classrooms in bulk, perhaps, you know, you're ordering 100, 200, 300 at a time. There's a lot of different ways to get that signage in. And, uh, you know, some of those ways have been pretty consistent over a long period of time. Um, you know, for us, we really think and we believe that there's, there's an opportunity to, uh, you know, uh, carry on with those kind of services as those are working for you. But um, in a lot of cases, and, and, you know, we'll show you some stuff today where it might actually make sense to bring a printer in house and have the ability to do some custom printing on demand, or, you know, be able to print posters and graphics as needed. And um, also too. You know, just kind of have that, um, you know, um, just in time kind of philosophy while using a printer in house. And some of these printers, too, and we'll talk about this in a second, really haven't, um, it, you know, have, have come down in price and become a lot more reasonable to make this kind of feasible to do this in house. Um, so we're not talking about, you know, a, a printer just to print 24 inches being up in the uh, $5,000 or $10,000 range anymore as a default. Um, some of them certainly go up to that price range, but it's actually a little more affordable um, than it once was to, to do this kind of printing in-house and, and, and securing a printer to do that. So I think that's kind of why we're here. And we just want to open some eyes on why that might make sense to kind of do this and, uh, you know, really show you the components and show you how easy it can be um, to do this in-house if you have a printer um, at your facility. So a um, couple slides to show you really quick. So we'll go ahead and get started on those. And then um, we're going to show you a couple more things on the computer and the printers themselves and, you know, how everything works. So uh, what is large format printing in education? What does that mean? Um, you know, whether you've been doing this for a long time or maybe you're brand new to uh, having the ability or uh, being responsible, let's say, for printing these kind of uh, graphics in-house for inside the classroom or perhaps, uh, you know, uh, signage that goes in the hallways or uh, promotes events. Um, on campus, those sort of things. So this could be wall art, this could be directional signs, this could be printing out um, today's menu for one of the restaurants or cafes that you have at your facility, um, you know, safety posters. Uh, obviously over the past two years, there's been a lot of COVID-19, a lot of safety signage, um, et cetera. So how do you print these things or what are you printing? And there's a couple examples of what all those things look like right on the screen. So there's lots of different ways when you have a printer at your facility and at your fingertips that you can use those. It's not necessarily just for in-class presentations or charts and things like that. Um, it's a lot of facility signages. It's a lot of things for events. It's a lot of things for sports events and things like that. So um, there's a lot of flexibility that comes with um, having this capability. So the question is, okay, um, I have a printer, 
Um, what else do I need once you get the printer in house? Well, let's talk about the printers here for a second. So um, the printers that we uh, are, are dealing with are, are you know, our Epson SureColor T-Series. And these are aqueous based printers that use either uh, four color inks, five color inks, or six color inks. And that's basically a, a cyan, magenta, yellow, um, and black. And with that four color kind of process, then you can create you know, really great um, colorful posters um, that work really, really well. So you can create them in matte format, you can create them as glossy posters, um, you know, with those four, five, six color ink sets, um, you can really do a lot. So, you know, for printing these posters and things like that, um, you don't need to go too crazy in a lot of respects up to a 10 color, 12 color uh, system. Um, we typically use just a four or five, six color system to print these posters with the SureColor T-Series uh, poster printers that we have here. And also too, it's just important to, when we say large format, we're really talking about printers that print 24 inches wide and above. So when we think about that, there's in-house copiers and there's business printers that can print, you know, eight and a half by 11 up to 13,919 in some cases. Um, that's not what we're discussing today, although that's a really nice printer to be able to print out some handouts and, um, you know, copies and, and, and office work products and things like that. When we say large format, we're talking about things that print, uh, in this case, 24 inches and wider. So four color, five color, six color printers, 24 inches and wider, something that can put on, you know, matte and glossy media. That's the kind of equipment that we're talking about right here. So um, if we flip to the printers and we could show you a couple examples right here, um, I think what you're gonna be able to see is uh, kind of interesting. So. We have three different examples that we're showing right in front. And these range from something that I have right here, which is a desktop printer that actually prints in 24 inches and wider up to a floor standing 24 inch and then a larger, um, you know, up to a 44 inch printer. But just to explain the kind of differences in these, um, this one right here is a 24 inch printer um, that sits on a desktop. So this can actually fit inside the classroom or inside of an office. And you can print um, 24 inch wide posters on glossy paper right out of the printer like this. Typically when you work with a graphics printer, um, it's going to accept both sheets and roll paper um, media in the top. So this one, even though it's a desktop printer, um, it'll actually accept rolls right in the top of it, which go right on the spindle. And then you have basically a, you know, 75, 100 foot, um, you know, uh, some cases all the way up to 200 and 300 foot roll of media um, that gets fed right through the desktop printer. And then you can print a uh, enormous amount of posters using that roll that's built into this. Interestingly enough too, a printer like this one can still be used as some office duties because it has an eight and a half, 11 sheet uh, feeder that goes right into the top where you could print copies and you can kind of use this for normal office duties as well um, in some capacity. I mean, if you need to run off 300 copies or something like that, obviously you'd want a business uh, inkjet printer for that kind of purpose, but um, it's really kind of a flexible machine and the pricing on it is not too bad. These actually start off at about 749 dollars um, MSRP. So um, really interesting and it's very compact and something like this under a thousand dollars MSRP can get you into a situation where you can print your posters in house and do some other, you know, office work as well on a, on a printer like this. And it fits virtually anywhere. It just sits right on the desktop and it'll go wherever it needs to go. So let's look at another version right here. And this is probably one of the more popular printers that we have for education. And this is a printer, this is actually a five color machine. So this has uh, CMYK and it actually has a dedicated matte black ink for matte posters and a dedicated photo ink for photo posters. Um, another great benefit of this one too, is that it takes larger rolls in here, but also um, you can print on this printer onto rigid poster board. So something like this, we actually printed right on this printer right here. And this is a T3270. This is a roughly about a, a, a 24 by 30 piece of poster board, but it's actually 1.5 millimeters thick. So if you wanna print directly to this, then it's instant dry and it comes out ready to go. And then you can do event signage, wayfinding. Um, you could print out menus and events or you know whatever's going on that particular day. And then you could sit this right on top of an easel 
and you can use this for signage, um, you know, coming right out of the printer directly to rigid poster board. Normally to do something like this, you would have to print something out on standard poster paper or glossy or matte, and then you would have to mount it onto a thick piece of material that comes on, on the back of that. So that's extra time, that's extra labor um, to, to take this and put it into rigid format. Whereas uh, a printer like this will actually print directly to that. And then you can use the signage for whatever you want. So um, that floor standing and, and going up in class and printer, um, that's a big benefit of having, you know, that ability to do that. So um, that's kind of a new Epson as well um, to be able to print on that rigid poster board. So um, very cool technology that we have with that piece. And then for the printer side, the last one I would talk about is something like this, which would be like a floor standing production printer. And these will go from 24 inches all the way up to 44 inches wide. And what you can do with this one is very high speed production. So if you need to run 50, 100, 150 posters, um, you know, to go all the way around the facility, you could do it with something like this and you don't have to wait for each individual poster to come out. Um, everything's gonna come out at a very high speed. So. Um, some of these have integrated catch baskets where they can catch all of your output. Um, some of these actually have dual rules, so you can have more interrupted printing that's going through it. But it all really just depends on your capacity and how many prints you're sending through on um, all these different printers. So anyway, very entry level, very affordable desktop, something like this where you can have some added capability to print on rigid poster boards. And then the third option would be something like this where you can print very efficiently and very quickly, if you're printing a lot of different prints to come out for um, you know, a lot of different uh, areas that you wanna put your signage. So, so media is also very interesting because there's a lot of different media that you could, a lot of different types of media that you could put through any one of these printers. Um, so mainly for poster printing, uh, Epson does make a poster print um, media, which is uh, you know, kind of glossy and uh, very efficient. It's not too thick, but it's not too thin. And that's primarily uh, the standard paper that you would use to print a lot of posters in house. So uh, it's got a nice glossy on it and it'll run through any different class of printer you have. And uh, posters typically use a lot of Epson poster paper when they're putting these through the printer. So that's pretty much the standards in terms of, you know, uh, what you would do to print those kind of graphics that are just going all the way around the facility. Um, but also we mentioned the rigid poster board. So that's another media that works with this printer um, to have that capability. So that's another variation of media that you put through this. Um, there's also some other options as well. So for example, if you wanna do something on a matte media and you want more of a matte finish, then you could do that on um, you know, uh, one of the Epson matte medias. And uh, a lot of times if you're printing, let's say like business graphics or charts or uh, flow charts, for example, if you have an IT department that needs to look at a workflow and wants to put it down on a very easy to read kind of high acuity chart or something like that, then you could print that on a matte media, either thick or thin. And that's going to have um, a really great visibility, especially when you get into the finer details and you need those things to come out in the print. So glossy medias, matte medias, rigid poster board, um, a lot of different things that you could print on depending on the application and how you want things to look when they come out of the printer. Um, there's also some other things too. I mean, for example, if you have backlit signs, um, if you have something where you need to print on like a clear film to backlit sign, um, that's capable on a printer like this. So that's another option that works with your facilities, which is great, another variation of uh, what you can do with it. Um, also too, in some cases, maybe you wouldn't wanna print on some canvas or uh, something to do some wall art. Um, that's capable on these printers here as well. So um, if you think around and you look at all the places where there's different signs and different decorations and things like that, um, there's a lot of possibilities that come along with this that you can actually do in house, um, which, is, which is pretty amazing. And uh, you could do it on the fly. So if you say you need a poster, or you need a, um, you know, a piece of wall art, if you need some kind of decoration in an hour, you could design it, send it through the printer and have it ready to go. So you don't have to wait for the outsourcing and wait for that lead time that comes with, you know, ordering that on the outside. So, um, you know, again, if you're doing a lot of volume and, uh, you know, you, you have specific applications and things like that, um, sometimes it definitely makes sense to go outside, but there's a lot of times where there's a great benefit to be able to print these things same day, 
exactly what you need or customize it. If you don't like the look of this one, just go into the computer and change the text and reprint it back out and you've got exactly what you need. So lots of different medias, lots of different ways to do this. So, um, okay, so you've got the printer and the media and uh, the last thing that you would need is content. So um, how would you print basically, you know, once you have the hardware and once you have things set up? Um, well, the, the, the best way to do that is uh, obviously through the computer and there are some web services um, that do a really good job of, uh, you know, being able to provide some easy ways to create, you know, content for uh, education. Of course, if you have a graphic designer on, on set or on, on, on your facility, uh, you could utilize that as well. So anybody could basically draw up a 24 by 36 um, kind of poster or graphic. And, uh, you know, if you have somebody who's creative, you could certainly make your own materials um, anytime you want and send those right through the printer, which is no issue. Um, but we'd like to show you what we like to use um, and recommend, which is uh, um, was actually canva.com. And uh, we'll flip over to the computer and just kind of show you a little bit about how that works. So there's two things that work in concert, and one of them is uh, going on to the canva.com website. And uh, Canva is a great resource because they have thousands of templates. They have a lot of uh, both pre and paid templates for creating posters. Um, so basically you go onto Canva and for educators, you can actually get a free account through canva.com forward slash education. So you go on and create your login. And then once you're here, you basically have this interface that gives you access to thousands of different templates. So if I just type in school poster, for example, I can pull this up and there's a lot of different options. If you want to get more specific with it and say, you know, event poster, or sports poster, or something like that, you could certainly do that. But option and great thing about Canva is that they have, they have a great, they have a great thing about Canva is they have a, um, um, they have a uh, editor right in the, in, in the browser. So sorry about that. I think we lost our mic there for a second. All right, we're back on, great, let's move on. So the great thing about Canva, as we were mentioning, is that they have a, an editor right in here. So if you just wanna say, you know, let's study instead, you know, just change the text. You can do that with the preset posters, or if you wanna change the design and make this smaller, you can do that. So um, a lot of these templates are fully editable right here. And then once you're happy with it, um, you could basically uh, download this and send it right to the printer. So I'll just show you exactly how to do that. So I edited this design and I hit share and I just hit download and it says PDF print. So definitely suggested. And then when I download this, it's on my computer and it's ready to go. Um, so what we've done with Epson is we've actually created a very easy to use software. It's called Epson Print Automate. And Epson Print Automate um, will, once set up uh, properly, will pull this poster into the browser. And then basically with some presets that are already done, you can go ahead and hit print and send that right to the printer. So um, basically we download this, um, it automatically loads into the Epson Print software, and then you send it over to the printer and it's ready to go. So this makes it really, really easy for someone to download and print without a lot of adjustments and a lot of uh, you know things that could go wrong sometimes in a standard workflow. Um, so there are cases where you can uh, uh, you know enlarge this uh, uh, template or you know take it down or print on different glossy medias and print medias and stuff like that. Um, in a lot of cases, we can actually um, set up presets in here to do those things very, very easily as well. So that's another great option that's through this, but if you're printing posters most of the time through glossy media. You can keep it on the current preset, download, it goes right into the template automatically and you clip print and it's just gonna send it right over to the printer. So very cool, very easy. And that really just takes care of the third part of um, everything when um, you know we're talking about printer and media and content. So. But you've got to have all those three things basically in order to be able to print. And, uh, you know, we want to, you know, just convey that because a lot of times we have customers who will get the printers and then they'll, they'll get the content and they'll have one without the other. And we say, well, you know, having the full solution is definitely the best way to go. 
In terms of the printer and the media and the ink side, um, you know, Epson has done a great job of creating all of those things together. So the printer is actually matched to the Epson media. If we have Epson poster paper, we have a setting on the printer that works specifically with Epson poster paper um, and actually works with the printer and works with the ink. So it's all a great solution that all comes together. Um, so you don't have to worry about, you know, things coming out in different ways because the media or the ink or the printer we're not matched to you know be with each other so with these printers um, it's all a match solution which makes it really really nice because it's all engineered in the same place to all work together um, so yeah um, let's flip back to the slides really quick and uh, just show a couple more things um, in terms of printing yep okay um, let's move the slide forward real quick here we go Okay, so we talked about those things. So just so you know the model options that we talked about here, the entry level piece is called the SureColor T2170, like I said, a 749 MSRP. Um, you know, basically it has Wi-Fi, USB, Ethernet, but it will connect up to that computer. And you can do that exact same workflow that I just talked about by creating your posters through Canva and sending them right over to the printer. So basically, you know, with camera, it's a free or, you know, paid services for some of the premium templates. Um, the printer is about 749s plus add your media in here and you actually have a solution that's very, very reasonable in cost to be able to print your posters in house. So that's kind of right where everything starts. Um, another example of that printer is the 3170X. And the 3170X is interesting because this printer uses super tank and bottles for ink instead of the uh, typical cartridges. Um, so it actually comes with two sets of bottles of ink in the box. And um, I know the MSRP is slightly higher, obviously at 2195 versus 749. But if you look at the ink costs between the two of those, um, the cartridge inks per milliliter could be estimated around 88 cents per milliliter versus a super tank in the bottles where you have this ink that's in bulk and it's not cartridges anymore. Um, the estimated ink cost there could be 18 cents per milliliter. So if you're printing and you know you're going to be printing over the course of a year, two years, or even more, and you know you're going to be printing a lot of things, you can actually do the math and figure it out that buying this ink up front could be cost beneficial because the ink in those bottles and in that bo uh, um, bulk format is actually um, can be uh, more cost effective um, depending on how much you're printing than doing cartridges. So we do have an option. It's actually the first super tank printer that we have um, that prints in over 24 inches wide. So that's another option. We have these entry level, um, you know, desktop uh, versions of these printers in cartridge and in super tank. So um, very interesting. And that's kind of an exclusive we have here um, for the 24 inch wide product from Epson. And then I saw a couple people asking about these model numbers, so I'm glad that we're running through this, but the SureColor T3270, the one that prints rigid poster board. Um, so that's the starting MSOP, about $29.95, five color unit on this one with rigid poster board. So it has a dedicated ink for matte and photo black. And um, this is a printer, like I said, it's very, very popular with educators. So, um, you know, this is a, a, a really kind of a go-to when it comes to 24 inch wide printing kind of the education space for posters and the things that we had mentioned. And then the third one is the production unit, the T7770D. This is actually a printer that's brand new. It has all of our latest technology into it. Um, prints very, very fast. It's actually up to 300 square feet per hour when it comes to full color poster printing. And we have these in 24, 36, and 44. And this is a printer that's going to be starting to ship in June. Um, so this is our latest platform. And um, it's actually 25% smaller than our previous generation printers that do uh, very similar work. So um, we put a lot of technology and packed it into this small thing. And the last thing about this printer is uh, really easy to set up. So it's all one piece, there's no assembly. This will actually roll off of a skid and be set up and printing in less than 30 minutes once the ink is initialized in it. So um, great produce, production printer. It doesn't take up a lot of space and it's got a lot of productivity and a lot of uh, uh, features built into it. So if you're printing a ton, if you're printing, um, you know, if you're printing hundreds or something like that and you're printing a lot where you need the production class, um, this is going to be our latest and greatest that we have right here that we showed you just a minute ago. So that's the SureColor T7770D shipping in June. 
Um, we talked about media types and we talked about Canva, so we can kind of move on from that. But just the last couple of slides and things that we want to mention here is that um, Epson does have a Brighter Futures program. Um, maybe many of you are familiar with this already or maybe not, not sure. But uh, Epson Brighter Futures is a program that we've designed to give special uh, printer pricing exclusively for, for education accounts. So um, if you're an educator and you are uh, interested in any of these solutions that we talked about right here, we actually have uh, special pricing set up on all of our printers in the SureColor T-Series line um, that provides um, some discounts um, through uh, Brighter Futures for educators. So just wanted to make you aware of that. Um, if you talk to your reseller partner, if you talk to, you know, your uh, uh, technology provider, um, make sure that they, they, they talk to Epson about the Brighter Futures program so you can take advantage of, of that pricing that comes along with that. So um, that's, uh, we're at 1030 and we're right at the hour here. And that's basically what we wanted to share with you today. And um, right now, I think we have a couple questions. So let's uh, talk about... Um, Let's talk about the questions that came through here. Okay. Um, can you print on vinyl? That's a really good question, actually. So um, aqueous and vinyl is, a, is, a, is an interesting combination. So, um, you know, solvent printers that print on vinyl, uh, obviously, are, are really the best fit for something where if you're printing on vinyl, and you're printing a sign, or you're printing a banner that needs to go outdoors. Um, solvent, is there's no replacement for that. That's definitely going to be the most durable. It's going to be the most weather resistant. It's going to be the best fit if you want to print on vinyl and do something outdoors. Um, the printers that we see here, the SureColor T-Series with aqueous ink, um, aqueous meaning water, water meaning outdoors, um, you know, not really recommended for outdoor use. However, if you want to print some short-term um, outdoor, you know, something that might be outside for a couple of days, uh, maybe no longer than a week or something like that, and you're not going to put it through a rainstorm, you can print on some vinyl and use it on um, outdoors for short term. Um, for indoor, you can print on some thinner vinyls and you can use these for, for indoor use, um, really no issue. So um, for, for long periods of time and outdoor use on vinyl, definitely would recommend a solvent printer, but uh, for short term outdoor and for indoor use, you can print on some thinner vinyls um, that are coated for aqueous. That's, that's the key is the vinyl must be coated for aqueous or built for aqueous printing, you can print on these printers and use those for those kind of uh, indoor applications that we have right here. Okay. So are they compatible with Apple computers? Uh, yes, they are. So we're compatible with Mac, um, definitely compatible with um, uh, a MacBooks. Um, um, iPads, you can print directly from iPads and iPhones, um, some of the smart devices as well. So yes, we have both Windows, and Mac drivers available for all the printers that we've shown today. So yes, we do have that capability. Uh, can you achieve edge to edge coverage? And it's really, really good questions. Um, yes, you can. On the desktop printers, it's actually good to point this out. The desktop printers, we do have to have a margin on this. So I don't have, or uh, we don't have edge to edge capability on these. You can print almost pretty close to the edges, but um, it does need to have a three millimeter gap on this. So if you want an edge to edge on a desktop printer, you definitely have to trim it on your own, or you just kind of have to be okay with um, at least a three millimeter border, which is really not that much, but um, it's definitely a good thing to point out and a good question because when you get to uh, the other printers, something like the floor standing 3270 or one of these 7770D, something like that, these do have uh, borderless capability. So it'll print all the way to the edges and then trim the top and the bottom so you have true borderless. The only exception is the rigid poster board. So the rigid poster board, same thing as the other printers, you still have to have that three millimeter gap between the two, but um, you know something like this, you can print on regular poster paper or matte paper, and you can print edge to edge on those two printers. Okay, so high resolution photo will slow down print time. What's the highest resolution? Um, good question. So. Highest resolution on some of these printers, like this one, for example, is very high resolution. This will go up to 2880 DPI. Um, so it's 2880 by 1440 on this one. Very, very, very high resolution on these printers. Um, this one will go 2440. Um, this one will go 2440. So, um, and with Epson, we have uh, really great technology. Precision core print heads, which are in all these printers, um, deliver very, very precise and a variable drop. It's down to three. Five picoliters. So 
Um, you know, if you've seen the apps in quality, then you already know that, uh, you know, in terms of our precision and our ability to really, really get down to those finer details is very, very good. Um, so, um, you know, the print quality on these is great. Um, in terms of the speed, yes, absolutely. We usually have about four or five different speed modes. So depending on how granular and how precise and, you know, how um, high of resolution you'd like to print your posters, um, certainly there's a trade-off between speed and print quality that comes out. So, um, you know, typically we have four or five different options and you can kind of choose the speed that works with the kind of quality output um, that you require for the application. Okay. And do we have anything else here? Um, can we have the PowerPoint? That's a great question. Um, we're gonna be sending out a recording of this shortly. So um, you'll actually get a recorded version of this webinar. Um, we'll send you a link in your email and you'll be able to access this content. Um, after the presentation. So, um, yep, yeah, no problem. Good question. Um, did we have anything else before we close out? Yeah, I think we're good. So, um, you know, once again, you know, thank you for, for, for joining us. We like to keep these a little bit short. So we're about at 30 minutes here and uh, we hope this was useful and look out for that link that's going to be coming with the recorded webinar. Um, we actually have uh, sure color events that go throughout all of our different large format categories. So from solvent to t-shirt printers to UV signage and uh, photography, um, we're doing multiple events every month. So if you want to sign up for another one, just jump onto epson.com forward slash sure color events, and you can attend, um, you know, events from all our different product categories and learn a lot of great things like we did today. And uh, thank you very much, everybody again, and have a great day.